the howling of the mechanoid beacons, the blood red light from the proximity activators, and the colossal shadow of the mech cluster are casted over our colonists. These poor pawns have been sleeping in the cold and eating nutrient paste meals for months, some of them still wearing the tattered armors captured long ago. But obviously, this is no time to worry about that, for the poisonous cluster in front of them has been decimating the trees and grass of this area, and the sphere of influence is reaching to the sun lamps, the only food sources of the colony, and they have no choice. But no. Blackjack decides to throw a tantrum at this very moment and just walk right into the proximity activator, waking the whole cluster. Hello everyone, welcome back, and today I'm going to show you how to deal with mental breaks like this and avoid most of its consequences. Let's begin with the mental break that started this video, the tantrum. Tantrums are divided into three types. First is the bedroom tantrum, where pawns attack furniture in their own bedroom. Then there is the targeted tantrum, where pawns attack a specific expensive item or furniture until its destruction. And finally the general tantrum, where pawns wander around and attack random items and furniture. The bedroom tantrum is by far the easiest to deal with. When a pawn have this type of tantrum, simply find their bed and then assign them. The pawn would be unable to find their bedroom and just wander around doing nothing. This effectively turned the tantrum into a short daze. For the targeted tantrum, we first need to locate the targeted item. In this case, an excellent steel royal bed. We will manipulate the pawn to switch the target by uninstalling the bed. When the pawn targets a stack of valuable resources, in this case a stack of 75 leather, form a caravan and load most of the stack in, leaving a single unit of resources for the pawn to attack. The pawn would proceed to destroy a single unit of resource, causing a negligible loss of wealth. If instead, the pawn targets a single valuable item, just load the item into the caravan. The general tantrum is much harder to deal with, so we will come back with it later. Next, let's talk about the fire starting spree. This is generally easy to deal with. You just need to draft any nearby colonists to extinguish the fire and it will be fine. One thing to be careful though is the chem fuel, unstable power cells and mortar shells in your colony as they would explode when set on fire. If your pyromaniac go anywhere near those things, immediately arrest and drop them elsewhere. And then there are the drug binges. When a colonist have a drug binge, you can restrict the drug by locking it inside walls. If they binge a dangerous drug, you might want to make a caravan with the nearest colonist to quickly take it away. If you produce hot drugs for export, consider storing it in a room with a single door that can be blocked quickly when the binge occur. After that, the binge will just wander around doing nothing. Finally, we came to the ultimate strategy for mental breakdowns. This strategy can be used against the general tantrum as well as many breakdowns we talked about earlier, albeit less efficiently. Well, your colonists can't mess with anything if they are locked up. This colonist is having a give up breakdown. Normally, this is a serious issue. You either lose a colonist or have to arrest and recruit them all over again. Instead, you can move the colonist into a room and block the door. 
first draft a social colonist to arrest and move to Quitter. Then start building the blocking wall so that it can be quickly finished when needed. After dropping them off, quickly move the other colonists out of the room before blocking the wall. The quitter will just stay there until they change their mind. This strategy can also be used against insulting sprees, food binges, murderous rages, and other violent mental breaks. You probably have noticed that we still have to wait for the colonists to stop the mental break normally. This means that breakdowns like days and hiding room are not affected by this strategy. If you want to speed up this process, however, there's a way. You can heat up the room to try to cause heat shock to the colonists. First, put some heaters into the room, then capture the pawn and prepare to block the room normally. Finally, throw a molotov in the portion of the wall like this to create two fires. Now just drop the colonists off and block the door as before. The fire will quickly raise the temperature and the heaters will maintain it after the fire dies. Depending on the outside temperature and the size of the room, you may want to create more fire or put some heaters into the room. Try not to make too much fire though, because they may raise the temperature too high and cause burn to the pawn. Very soon however, the pawn will collapse from heat stroke and stop the mental break. You can then take them out where they will quickly recover from the heat stroke. So that's how to deal with all the mental breaks in the game, other than the berserk of course. For that breakdown, as far as I know, you have no other choice than using brute force. So if you like this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing. If you have any room one topic that you want to see about, tell me down in the comments. See you in the next video. In the meantime, happy gaming.